Hi, I'm Paul Rabel, and this is my pregame playlist. Probably about five or six years ago, I was at a few shows and and you know starting to pay more attention to DJs, and I was just kind of like, hey, that's something that seems like I could I could do for fun. In no means do I consider myself like a professional DJ, but I have done some really awesome shows and some big clubs in DC and New York, and but it's just a purely a hobby. It's all about for me. It's kind of like it can kind of be like riding a bike it's it's difficult at first you just kind of have your training wheels on and like you're syncing music electronically and then as you get better you can do different things and ultimately you know i spent probably a year really trying to figure it out you know what i'd really like to come out to is dwayne johnson's the rock says and i'm not rock but do you smell what the rock is cooking to walk out to pretty emphatic. One of my favorite groups to listen to prior to training, especially if I'm in the weight room going after, you know, max lifts, it'd be System of a Down. One that resonated with, with me was Prison Song. Just the effectiveness of lead singers, kind of like projection, how he's like screaming, but it's also in tune. I just like really kind of let the rage come out. We all dance to a certain extent, you know, I mean, we think we can at least. It depends on like more drinks you have, better you think you can dance type of deal. <laughs> I, I, don't really, I don't really dance outside of events or parties. I, I think dancing at, you know, 90 to 100 BPM can become very challenging. That's when you really have to have some significant groove. <laughs> if you hit to like 128, 130 BPMs, anyone can kind of dance that. It's just like takes a little bobble of your head like that. <laughs> this is dancing, right? This counts. I know this is like fairly common amongst amongst guys too. Like just doing this, you know, they're like pretty good dancing. And then like this, you know, this is like pretty like especially in like the electronic scene. And then the, now we're going into the yes movement. And that's my range of dance moves right there. You got it. <laughs> Taylor Swift's trouble track tends to get me where I want to go before a game sometimes. So, you know, when you hear it every now and then, it, it uh, it's embarrassing. It's like, trouble, 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 bow, oh, mm, oh, trouble. Uh, it's a hidden talent of mine is singing. Uh. Audio correction on that, please. <laughs> Poor Trouble, 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 bow, oh, mm, oh. <laughs> 